As a kid, I mastered the art of getting kicked out of foster homes. And the fact of the matter is, I trusted no one. And looking back, I guess, how could I? From the time my parents left me, to the time another foster kid raped me, to the time I was bullied so bad, I tried to kill myself with a bottle of pills. So I'm sitting in the van, in the driveway of this next home, preparing to meet Rodney and Christine from Yukon, Oklahoma. He looks in my eyes and says, son, you can keep causing problems, you can keep trying to mess up, you can keep pushing us away, you can keep trying to get us to kick you out of here, but you've got to get it through your thick head, son. We don't see you as a problem. We see you as an opportunity. You see, every kid is one caring adult away from being a success story. March 2015, Harvard's National Scientific Council on the Developing Child released this study saying, and I quote, every child who winds up doing well has had at least one stable and committed relationship with a supportive adult. My friend and mentor Reggie Joyner from Atlanta taught me to think about it this way. In this jar are 936 marbles. Each one of these marbles represents a single week from the birth of a kid until that kid turns 18 years old. You know a 16-year-old? You got 104 marbles remaining. Right here, we are looking at time. In fact, you're looking at all the time or all of the weeks you have left to influence this kid, this kid, or this kid before they turn 18 and begin making critical life decisions without your presence. What matters isn't how much time you have left with a particular kid that you care about. What matters is what you do with that time left. I mean, consider how many weeks Rodney had left when he bailed me out of jail. Twenty-six. I was six months away from graduating high school. 26 weeks to get through my thick head, my bitterness, my anger, my distrust of adults, to get me to finally accept help. You see, it's not about how much time you have left with that kid you're thinking of. What matters is what we do with that time. If every kid truly is one caring adult, one Rodney away from being a success story, then the challenge is this. The difference between a statistic and a success story is you.